The opinions, viewpoints, and beliefs presented on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the management, the affiliates, and broadcast partners, or the sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Scarefest Radio at the Louisville Supercon. What the hell is stuck in my headphones? There we go. We are here live at the Louisville Supercon. The little green light's on, so I'm assuming this is going out everywhere that it's supposed to go. I'm going to go ahead, before we go any further, I'm going to introduce our perspective co-host, Holly LaFavors. Did yes, I say your name right? you did. <laughs> Finally. We, um, just to explain... Uh, I've been friends with Holly on Facebook and Twitter for a while, um, and uh, I like her attitude. I described you to Brandon today as a younger, hot female version of me. Oh, I like that. So, <laughs> we, Are you going to pay me royalties? We, we, we seem to have a similar sense of humor, but the main thing is, you're a big horror fan. I'm funnier. What? I'm a horror fan. What? You're a horror fan, okay. right? Um, she got a lot of Twitter followers, built-in audience. She and she has estrogen. Something Scarefest Radio has definitely been lacking is estrogen. Would you agree? Probably so. I, I think I lack some serotonin this month too. I saw this meme recently. It was like yesterday. It said I have the last level of serotonin left of November, and that's how I feel right now. But tomorrow is December. It's a new month. That's We're right. Leading into a new year. So let's do this. Let's do this con. Now, uh, Holly, just you just got here. Yeah. You literally just walked in the door. Like I had to tell her we're at the end of the food court. So, um. <laughs> I haven't eaten. Yeah, she hasn't eaten. I, I haven't eaten either. Don't worry about it. But, um. Now, one thing I want to, uh. I haven't really been around the floor a lot. When Brandon comes back, Jake Godbold is here. Jake Godbold, I guarantee you will be able to tell you about the convention. But, um. Some things I'm going to tell the Scarefest fans before we get started. Things that I hear you all bitch about. Last year, and Jake's one of them, the floor plan last year at the Scarefest. Oh, we had to walk so far to get into it. You don't have a choice here. We're like half a mile off of the street. You have to go up escalators. You have to go down. But it's a great convention hall. The convention hall is very nice. It's huge. It's packed. A lot of vendors. Um, I haven't been back on Stars Road. They said it was kind of mushed up together, but they, you know, uh, that's not my that's not my problem. The um, but uh, I we've we've uh, we've had a good time today. We've had a lot of traffic at the booth. We've uh, now here's a little brag, Nicole. If you're listening, Layla. If you're listening, I will tell you the number one comment that the staff here says they're getting is that everybody that says, yes, I know what the Scarefest is, we love the Scarefest. There has been a a lot of buzz about it, um, from vendors in particular, vendors that are are wanting to come back. So um, we're real excited about this year, but we've had a lot of people come up, um, get information. Bruce Campbell, they're excited about it. I wish we could have had somebody else tonight, Layla, just saying. But but it has been a uh, really good thing. Now, um, gonna be able to watch my clock here. The um, I do want to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna talk to Holly here in a minute. But um, some things I like about the convention hall here. First of all, you can buy a soft drink damn near anywhere. You can buy liquor damn near anywhere. There is an entire food court in the convention. Now I'm not saying it's cheap. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying it's there. Lexington, learn. Learn. Um, now, my only complaint about the convention center, we boys well, get noisy in the background. We um, we failed to book electricity for the booth. 
me doing radio, of course, I needed electricity. So uh, we, the staff was very responsive. I found one, once I found one of them, they got somebody up here to the booth. Within five minutes after they uh, found us, they had us hooked up. Here's the complaint. He plugged an extension cord into the floor, put two pieces of duct tape on it, and threw the cord over in the booth. That was our electric hookup. So, so someone might actually die on our, on our electric hookup this weekend. We're going to take our first commercial break, everybody. When we come back, we're going to talk to Holly. We're going to find out more about her. Stay tuned. Do you feel lost in life? Do you seem to be stuck in emotions that are not yours? Is your home not the sanctuary it should be? Contact Spirit Mechanics, where they take a team approach to your metaphysical and spiritual problems. Spirit Mechanics specializes in aura cleansing, stone attunement, attachment removal, and house cleansings. Spirit Mechanics tailors their approach to your individual spiritual path and needs. Find them every month at Lexington, Kentucky's Mystical Fair, mysticalfairlex.com, or on Facebook by searching Spirit Mechanics, that's M-E-C-H-A-N-I-X. Spirit Mechanics, for your spiritual health and well-being. It has been brought to our attention. We do want to, I'm going to go ahead and apologize and hope you can hear me. Some of the video feeds are a little hinky. I'm going to explain this one more time. Convention Center Internet. Convention Center Internet. It sucks. Uh, we're actually having to operate off cell phone because, uh, but we're, we're, we're doing the best we can. It will be recorded, so you will be able to see and everything. If you miss it tonight, don't worry about it. We're, do, we're not giving anything away. We're no, we don't have any prizes tonight. We're just letting you, uh, we're going to try to grab some cosplayers if we see some walk by, but otherwise, we're just here for the experience. Now, um, one thing that caught my eye about you, Ollie, is you go to a lot of conventions, apparently. Yes, I've been going for 12 years now. How many do you hit a year, probably? At least four to six. Four to six a year. Between, in the area. Kentucky, um, and then I go to Ohio, I go to Indiana, I go to Tennessee, Nashville. I've not been anywhere outside of that, though. There's okay. big, big ones in Texas and Florida, and then, of course, like the major Comic-Con in um, San Diego, I've never been to. Well, I didn't expect you to go to all of them, but... but uh, the southern ones. Well, I, I, but I did notice that it seemed like you were familiar with them, mm -hmm. and uh, you were... Well, I mean, this, you, you just seem to travel a lot. Yes. Of course, you were in Las Vegas like a month ago. A week ago. A week ago, okay. <laughs> so, um, so she's a world traveler, and she doesn't go around to conventions. So actually, what I'm wanting to do, since you already go, now, okay, now I know you already get media passes. Yes. Now, what do you, uh, who, who do you, do you write for somebody? Do you blog yes, for Yes, I, I write for myself through Twitter. Um, since I've gained, like, mm, several followers, I wouldn't say I've gained a lot, um, but enough to get media passes to these events, and I've been go getting media passes for about the past five years now. And then I just kind of make just based on just based on charm. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, it, well, um, Josh Gates. Do you know who he is? Yes, I know who Josh Gates. He he calls it the gift of the gab. So I have the gift of the gab because I'm a licensed therapist in Kentucky. So I talk a lot, and I listen, but I talk a lot too. <laughs> well, what I'm hoping you will do, in addition to taking spots on Scarefest Radio, is as you go to run to some of these Billy conventions. Billy Crank. Let's call him over. I wouldn't Billy Crank. I wouldn't Billy, Billy Crank. <laughs> we know him. I wasn't trying to bust up in here or nothing, but how y'all doing today? We're doing fine. Do I need to lick you again? No. Well, we can leave that part out. <laughs> I've been, I've been by the way, to by the way, the first time that I have done a remote for like a year that I haven't been day drinking ahead of time, just so you know. Um, we're hoping, okay, first of all, by your affiliation with Scarefest Radio, you'll automatically get a media pass anywhere you want to go. Should not be a problem. But was wondering if maybe we couldn't like maybe get you to do some interviews for us to be played online. Sure. Put you on the spot right now. Well, you're, you're the celebrity. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I know him personally. <laughs> now, uh, we have Ms. Marvel over here. Are we friends on Facebook? Captain Marvel, and yes. 
Yeah. I'm from the 80s. It was Miss Marvel back then. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> 70s and 80s. They changed that after he died. Okay, Captain Marvel died of cancer or something. Uh, yeah, something. Yeah. Something. And then, then yeah, okay. See? <laughs> I'm a misogynist, but I know my comic books back then. I found someone to interview. See, I'm hired. <laughs> wow, you sound weird. You're so funny. Yeah, and it's picking up everything. Yeah. Where is the freaking music coming from? I can't hear that. The wrestling. The wrestling. The wrestling. Oh. I should be there, but last week I was on Starcade. On Starcade. No. Uh -uh. In Cincinnati. Yes, I had front row seats. I promise. Go. Really? If you have the wrestling network. Like, I do. Okay. Click on Stargate. I'm the first person you see after Rick Flair. Me and my brother. What'd you do? Yeah, I got That's what I did. Oh, okay. And that's cool. how I'm here. So. <laughs> right on. Right on. You gotta live to tell the story. I got commemorative chairs. I got. I found a pancake. You know, from the New Day. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big wrestling fan now, so. Right on. Turned yeah. you on to it, huh? Right well, on. Right yeah. Quite right turned on. Right. To Rick. I mean. Yeah. It, like, no, like, you know. Men touching like, men. To wrestling. Men touching yeah. men. <laughs> you too? I know he is. Actually, I think he's a little phobic. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. He's a, anyway. I'm shocked he's not a wrestler now. Is, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, now, everybody, I do want to tell you, now, Billy has been absent from the show for a while. I have. We've been going through some transitions, uh, shuffling stuff around, coming up with a game plan. But uh, Billy is co-hosting in just a week or two and he's going to be back on the holiday episode Hell so yeah. billy billy is still a part of scarefest radio wanted to put that out there matter of fact if you go to scarefestradio.com click meet the team he's right there amongst us <laughs> holly will be local celebs hey i'm 100 glad to be part of it awesome now, how long have you been here a while yet, or is it? Man, I've been, I've been here probably about maybe uh, three hours. Three hours. Uh, I'm just cruising around. I'm just gonna be here for one day, checking okay. it out. Okay. I've um, never been here before. What uh, What so far impresses you most about Louisville Superfly? Um, all of the little whatnots and thingamajiggers. That, there that are a lot of it, like, like uh, the homemade um, unique things, like uh, um, the, the welding thing. People are making stuff out of metal now. So the vendors. That, yeah, the vendors. Yeah. People are making stuff out of metal. Can you believe it? <laughs> like, like pipes? No. <laughs> like Wolverine's walls? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh. But no, man, uh, the, the people are super nice. Uh, everybody's pretty mobile today, you know, uh, getting around pretty good compared to at the end of the weekend. When, well, yeah, uh, <laughs> that goes without saying. Um, I will say, now, from having a booth standpoint, the crowd is friendly. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of times that these things, uh, when you try to shove a card in their face, you know, it's, I don't, I don't know. But no, uh, the people are taking their cards. Um, I've, uh, I've got a little buzz about the five dollar bad tarot card readings, but I haven't done any. So I'll be, I need one. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Yeah, you need to give uh, Holly your uh, one of your. Uh, well, uh, so I'll be drinking. I'm pretty much drinking on, uh, on my own money tonight. I hadn't planned on that, but. Uh, so, uh, What's a cocktail party tonight? Do you have a press pass? Oh, you don't? No, I, I have a vendor pass. Oh. And I don't know. Well, I here I am with a one-day <laughs> damn pass, and y'all are rubbing it in my face. He's not famous. Like I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we got we to gotta work out some details on this. I, for all I know, that might get me in. I don't know. But um, all I know is when we leave here, we're going to eat. That is, that is, that is plan number one. And uh, I, Wesley has been foodless today. Um, now, a little a little sidebar for everybody. Check my time. Still doing good. Um, I had planned on being here all day. Me being the responsible person that I am and Scarefest putting me up like they are and getting me into the convention, my plan was to be the diligent worker and get here first thing this morning and then work all day and then work mostly tomorrow. And then, How'd that work out for you? Not very well. Um, Brandon had work emergencies. He said I could ride up with him. I said, well, I can't get in trouble if I'm late if I'm riding with the owner of the convention. But he, he got tied up at work, so we got a late start. Didn't get here until probably 1 or 1.30. Uh, but, you know, I'm here. But, Layla, I'm ca calling you out again. I had to stop by Layla's and pick up 
a bunch of literature for the booth. Mm -hmm. She calls me at like 9.30, says stop and pick up this literature. About 10.30, I'm almost there and I get a text saying, oh my God, I have a doctor's appointment at 11, I have to leave now. She forgot her doctor's appointment, mm. scheduled the same morning. Write stuff down, Layla. Just saying, start writing this well, stuff th down. That just shows you how important Scarefest well, is to Layla. That's, that must be what it is. Yeah. That must be what it is. Yeah. Or, or she just wanted to avoid seeing me. True. That, that's a good that, possibility, that, that's too. A, that yeah. is always that a possibility. Also, so I can relate. Now, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take our second commercial break. We're running a little bit early, but we're gonna probably not going to do this for a whole hour. I know you're uh, hearing the background noise and everything, so everybody, stay tuned. We'll be right back in a minute. Do you feel lost in life? Do you seem to be stuck in emotions that are not yours? Is your home not the sanctuary it should be? Contact Spirit Mechanics where they take a team approach to your metaphysical and spiritual problems. Spirit Mechanic specializes in aura cleansing, stone attunement, attachment removal, and house cleansings. Spirit Mechanics tailors their approach to your individual spiritual path and needs. Find them every month at Lexington, Kentucky's Mystical Fair, mysticalfairlex.com, or on Facebook by searching Spirit Mechanics, that's M-E-C-H-A-N-I-X. Spirit Mechanics, for your spiritual health and well-being. Coyote Chris Sutton. Shamanism. Spiritual advisement. Paranormal investigations. Inspirational presentations. Bringing light to the darkest places for over 20 years. Go to CoyoteChris.com to learn more. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, Spirit Mechanics got a free commercial out of that. Uh, I hit the wrong button. What can I tell you? Um, Billy, before you go, yeah, man. I want to ask you now. Mm -hmm. Do, do I really need these? Well, if he, he can just, hear me. It just adds to the effect. Yeah, it adds hey, to the effect. Here. It adds hey, to the effect. Yeah. When I first met you, yeah. you were doing your um, um, <laughs> earnest yeah. character. Yeah, I was, and I actually used to think this was cosplay. Yeah. But I'm actually fairly sure this is what you wear every damn day every of the week. Every damn day. <laughs> yes, sir. I wear this to uh, For like the church. last seven years. Uh, wear it to, I've known you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still smells good. Met you in it. Met you again in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it's it's a way of life. Well, it's a way of life. It's a way of when life. you when you come to a, a comic con like this, yeah. Do people recognize the character? Do they, you get they, into character? They, they do. Recognize? They do. And, and there's a lot of people that uh, that that this kind of this character means a lot to them, and and you I can just see it in their face, and they smile. And they don't have to say nothing, and I turn around and say something to them, and they then they go into, oh, man, my I grew up watching this character, and then, and then at the end of it, I'm going, what character? What are you talking about? This is what I wear every day, you know? But, but uh, no, a lot of appreciation goes into wearing this stuff. Uh, like I tell everybody, I appreciate you appreciating what I appreciate, you know what I mean? That is giving me a headache you yeah. Okay, you often. that's that's what I want to ask. I'll let you get back to the convention. Yeah, man. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll look forward to talking to you later. See you at the wrestling cosplay. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? I wish I was wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> now, Holly. Yes. Um, okay, in the horror genre. Now, our, tell everyone. What your favorite uh, part of the horror industry is? I, uh, I John I, Carpenter, because I graduated from Western Kentucky University. That's where John Carpenter is from, Bowling Green. Well, so, that's, that's why. That was, a little, that was a little more specific than I was expecting. So my favorite movie is Halloween, the original. Okay. Great. Um, I was just going for like a decade, but you know, y'all yeah, get it. Um, so uh, uh, that's your passion. Now, what else are you, are you interested in? I know, okay, we, we've established horror. You've also heard her giggling about the wrestlers. I can tell you from following her on, our, on Twitter that she's really into wrestling. Yeah. So, so what got me into wrestling? 
my, my older brother that you met at Scarefest. Right. He's been into wrestling since we were little kids and also horror, so it's something that we can relate to. So now I'm taking my brother to these conventions. So he'll be here tomorrow and he will acquire a press pass as well. So he gets to experience what I've been experiencing the last 12 years at going to conventions because he was in a relationship, then he became single, and now that he's single, he's doing all this fun stuff with his little sister. He's helping him out. So I'm like, now you're gonna rise to fame. And he's like, he's really shy, so I have to talk to people for him. At Scarefest, he got to meet Joe Bob Briggs. That's his like horror icon. So bring back Joe Bob Briggs, please. Thank you. He's actually on the list. Really. <laughs> I don't mean he's on the list to be there. He was one of the names that came up. I suggested well, they wait. I actually suggested they wait one year so you can hate me. Uh, but anyway, now on wrestling, explain to me what you like about wrestling. I wrestling is the one thing that I could never get into. It is comedy. It is drama. That's once you keep watching it, it's a storyline. It's acting, followed by men touching men, women touching women. <laughs> Um, some little homoerotica going on there, but that's not for me. That part's not for me. Okay, that's I, I, I love the comedy. I love, I love the comedy. I love the theatrics. I love the dramatics. It's it's fun to watch. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, now the only area that I've never talked to you about, I don't know. Do you have? Do you stay up on the paranormal side of things? Yes, but I'm a skeptic, so I will say that. Well, that's fine. God love a skeptic. No, I, that was one thing. I, I'd seen you talk about the other parts, of 80s horror and watching movies and, you know, being a fan of Joe Bob and like I said. And then every, when she's on Twitter and she starts talking about wrestling, I just kind of like scroll, do the little thumb thing and go on past. But. Um, My brother's watching. So. <laughs> Hi, Andy. But I, uh, on a, on Paranormal, now, what is your intro? How, how do you consider yourself an interested in it is have you had an experience you want to explain is it just fascinating to you no it's I haven't had any experiences in paranormal personally okay. um, I have had clients in the past once again I'm a licensed therapist so I have had experiences with um, clients talking about paranormal experiences they've had and I connected it to um, mental health as well with depression and things so that <laughs> is where I like paranormal I connect it to mental health so Oddly enough, I, I so do that. I. Yeah. Oddly enough. I mean, yeah, psychology, it can relate. And, well, and I, I, I tell everybody in the paranormal field, all of us, we're all out in left field. Yeah. Just some of us are playing a little closer to the fence. So I, a lot of scammers out there. A lot of scammers, and a lot of stuff that I believe in, when I say that I believe in it, I gag just a little bit. Because it sounds... Me being a logical person normally and thinking things through, it actually sounds strange to me, you know, to say, what, you know, that, that I embrace this. But at the same time, I have had these experiences. Good example. My shoulder is hurting like hell today. It's a ghost. No, it's not a ghost. <laughs> when I was at Scarefest, uh, it was hurting. because Other people, when they stand all day, their feet hurt. My shoulder hurts. Go figure. But um, Holly from her. Southern Gypsies did her little energy hoodoo thing on it, and it fixed it for like two weeks. In your mind, in your mind. That's where I maybe, come in. <laughs> maybe. But I was sitting there thinking because I've had people try to do energy work before, and it didn't work. And so, and, my, and this is from an injury. This is not. I mean, I know there's a. It's a rotor, rotor cuff. I mean, I know what it is. The. Uh, so I, when she was doing it, the only thing that gave me any mental convincing, I will say, her hands got hot as, a, I mean, Maybe. as a heating pad. Yep. Okay. I mean, I started to use a, a four-liter one. Her hands got really, really hot. And this was not from doing this. This was just while she was touching it. So, you know, maybe it was just a heat therapy that heart helped. But um, I will say, Holly, shout out to you. Um, you made a believer out of me. I just wish it had lasted longer. So, so that. Um, so it's a massage. Type of no, thing? she not really. Like was, an Asian massage. Like, <laughs> here, very platonic. Get over closer to me. No Asian massage. No, and <laughs> definitely no happy ending. So, uh, but in the paranormal world, just like people will post pictures, 
and I, I believe in ghosts. I believe in, all, in, 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 in some psychics, some psychics. But my thing is, people will post these pictures and I, I can tear them apart. I've seen very little substantial evidence. Now, I've not really seen any, I've seen a, a couple of videos that were really hard, a few pictures, but now you look at it from a psychological view, but now how do you explain something like the prevailing, prevailing EVP phenomenon? The best evidence that I've ever seen of an audio or heard. The best, audio, the best evidence that I have for the paranormal are audio clips that absolutely cannot be explained other than if you want me to just go ahead and say you fake me. Were they your tapes? Some of them. I have I have one that I consider the Holy Grail in that I got a entity, I'm not gonna say it's a ghost. Okay. But I got an entity to say exactly what I told them to say when I told them to say it. Clearly. Barely loud and clear that they answered you. Absolutely. The only the best explanation non ghost wise that a skeptic gave me <laughs> said, Well maybe you wanted it so bad <coughs> You wanted it so bad that you projected it with your mind into the camera. And I'm thinking, let's prove that. Yeah. Because that's just as cool. That is just as cool if I could do that. But you've not even heard anything that you would just say, no. something else is going on. I have had experiences, I would say, that were spiritual, involving angels and demons. But I think there is a difference between <coughs> ghosts and the spiritual world. I think. In my opinion. Well, there is a difference, but um, it's like saying there's a difference between a paramedic and a doctor. I mean, there yeah, there, you know, the yeah, there was a difference, yeah. but it doesn't mean it's not part of the same insignia. The unknown can be so beyond our mind concept, and things are not explained. But we're still searching for it, and that's what's cool about paranormal is people are still looking for answers. Now, very quickly. What's your views on UFOlogy? Oh, I love aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I am one. Okay. Let me insert no, myself. <laughs> no, do, do you believe in UFOs? No, no. No, you do not believe in UFOs. But I love them. You just love aliens. Okay, yep. well, fair enough. Love Travis Walton. We'd and love to have him back at Tear Fest. Travis Walton. And Fire so, in the sky. So I'm guessing you're, you're calling total bullshit on Bigfoot then. I like Bigfoot too. Harry and the Andersons. He was real. One of my favorite movies from my childhood was Harry and the Andersons. Isn't that hilarious? Just go ahead, and, the, just go the ahead and alienate the fans. I do it all the time. But uh, okay, so we, we've got a little bit about Holly. Um, after the first of the year, Holly will be joining us from time to time. Like I said, I'm going to get her to uh, to do some remote work for us, uh, do some interviews, uh, help her get her get her media passes. Is this Every paid? Well, <laughs> everybody might not just give you a pass because you have Twitter followers. <laughs> but um, so. Uh, You'll be seeing more of her. You'll be hearing more from her. And another thing we're, we've talked about a little bit on the show, after the first of the year, Scarefest Radio is going to go, we're going to try to concentrate more on the horror. We're going to talk more about horror, maybe a little UFO, some weird stuff, okay? Serial killers, whatever. But we're going to try to all move all the ghost stuff, all the psychic stuff, to a second hour. We're actually going to take Scarefest Radio to a two-hour show Two segments, but that way you won't have you um, horror people won't have to listen to me talk ghosts for an hour. So we're trying to help you out. We're trying to help you out. So I have a question. Um, as far as uh, fans of the convention, what do you want to see from Scarefest Radio? What do you want to hear from Scarefest Radio? Would you like giveaways? That's something that um, needs to be discussed with the managers of Scarefest. Because um, I know last time I had a giveaway on my Twitter account through um, through. Um, through Nick Brown, which is not going to be here tonight, today, so he told me he wouldn't. Okay. But I think that's something that's cool to do with the radio, um, but for anyone that's listening, I would like to know, like, do you want interviews with what kind of celebrities, horror, wrestlers, paranormal, whoever, whatever? I guarantee you, if we do wrestlers, she'll do the interview, so there, if we can get some wrestlers, <laughs> and I'll, I'll just sit and make crude jokes like I, know, like I do when I don't know about first. the movie. No, um, we're, we're trying to give away something every live episode, not counting remotes, because it's 
almost impossible to do. Although, although, stop by the Scarefest booth at Louisville Supercon tomorrow. I am giving away free autographed pictures of myself. We have a buttload of $5 t-shirts, Scarefest t-shirts, five, few for $10, most of them are $5. But we, we do have autographed pictures of me, $5 bad tarot card readings, and so there. See, that's like a giveaway. But we are trying to give away something every episode, not just a three-day pass, but sometimes we do auto The autographs have actually been very popular. We've been giving away autographed pictures of stars. That's, people have been fighting over some of them. So that's been uh, pleasing. The one thing we're working on, and this is something, uh, follow Holly on Twitter. I think you're, you spend more time on Twitter than you do on uh, Facebook, don't you? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, Holly La Favors. No, actually, I don't go by my last name on there. Oh, I'm Holly LA. <laughs> Holly LA. I'm sorry. My, my Twitter handle is Stay Blood Red. Oh, there you go. Stay Blood Red. That's me. She shows up in search if you actually. Anyway, okay. Stay Blood Red. But the uh, give her some feedback on this. The one thing we're trying to figure out is how to get the interaction between the fans and our guests. We have the chat room at Scarefest Radio. Very few people use it. We have um, the Facebook Live. Lots of people chat on there, but it's very hard for the host to follow that because it streams. It's it's you know it, it jumps around and moves very. It's, it's resource intensive. And you Twitter people, you just don't even try. So. Um, they do but, on my Twitter. I don't know what he's talking about. I have more followers. You can tag her, and she'll chat with you during the show. Yeah. But it, that is one thing we're wanting to know. What could we do to get more of the fans interacting with us in real time during the show? We would like to see more participation at the chat level. I mean, if you, if we're entertaining enough and you don't want to do that, um, you don't want to chat with you don't want to ask the guest questions, what can you do? But uh, that is something we're working on. We want to bring you all into the fold more, even if, uh, however we do it, that's something we are working on. Uh, one more commercial break, everybody. We'll be right back with our final segment. He's making a list and he's checking it twice. But where does that leave you? You've got to come up with thoughtful and affordable gifts for friends, relatives, and co-workers. What to do, what to do. From Scarefest Radio, just click the Merry Christmas graphic in our sponsor links and you will find the KYHorse.com selection of practical and beautiful personalized leather belts handmade in the bluegrass. It's a Kentucky tradition that fits every Christmas budget. I just noticed our uh, encoding overloaded, so I don't even know how much of the show's gone out. Hopefully we've got a good recording of it on the computer so that we can um, uh, play it for you. But the little light, it keeps flashing colors. Now, um... We've, uh, we've talked about horror, we've talked about paranormal. Um, now, how many years have you been coming to Scarefest? Since it started. You Really? Yes. What about you? I missed one. I'm Sorry. calling you out. <laughs> I missed one. I didn't know about it. Uh, now, that, that's that's amazing. Now, you have been... I've been coming as a fan. I started coming as a fan. Still a fan. Still a fan of horror um, and Scarefest and the paranormal of everything. And then I started doing networking and then connecting. Um, one of my best friends um, was a um, exhibitor, a celeb. So, that, and then I started getting passes. I knew the former managers. I started getting passes there. I um, updated a few people that were guests, and so that's how I started doing that as well. And then, um, then the press passes came along too, with okay. the social media following. So, so we've got a we've got a long time scarefester here that will be joining the show. Now, before we let everybody go, though, Jake, Hi. Jake, come here. Hi. Come here, come here, right here, right here, Jake. Hi. Everybody, this is Jake Godbold. You know him from Scarefest. You know him from the chat room. He's one of our regulars. Now, Jake, you've been here uh, a couple hours. What do you think? 
Show us your shirt. It's um, like Iron Maiden. My favorite band, by the way. Not Iron Maiden, but it's Iron Maiden. Well, font. It's a mashup of Iron Maiden. Well, exactly. Jason. But horror. What do you like best about the convention? Have you met anybody? Have you got any autographs? Or? Do you like wrestling? Of course. Well, Who's not, your favorite wrestler? not currently. Over all time. Take the snake. Uh, but got to talk to uh, Alice Cooper again, so that was cool. And uh, meet some Batman voice actors. And yeah, it's not bad. I okay. just got I just got bored and woke up and said, "Hey, I need a con fix. Here I am." <laughs> Have you been to any other comic cons? Have you been to Lexington Comic Con? Oh yeah. Would you compare? How would you compare this one to Lexington Comic Con? Because I've been. And this is huge. And it's I just bad. I, I don't like comparing cons. <laughs> I really don't. Unless they... I mean, I've been to so many. I like small cons, too. There's cons, and then there's shit cons. And there's they haven't pissed me off yet here. So. <laughs> okay, well, that, there you go. Unlike Louisville, another. Louisville Supercon has not pissed Jake off yet. So there, um, there's our closing for the evening. Um, you're closing with that? <laughs> I'm, I, that's like, like fits right in with what we've been doing. Everybody, come out and see us tomorrow. We'll be here all day. We'll be here. The booth will be here all weekend. We do have some specials. Uh, stop by, check us out. The uh, Cthulhu. I look Cthulhu. Mini Cthulhu, Cthulhu says um, says show up. Not even his dad can. The cosplay has been so great today. Up. Tomorrow, I'm expecting big things out of the cosplay. Uh, I, I, but I, there has just been some off the hook cosplay already. And um, there is a '90s party tomorrow night. There is a. VIP party tonight, an alcohol party. He can't which, go. <laughs> which I don't get to go to because they didn't. But I can tell you all about it because I'm trying to explain to everybody. <laughs> Book me as talent. But anyway, um, so please, Louisville Supercon, come and check them out. Thanks everybody for watching Bye. tonight. I hope that we was able to get some uh, some of the uh, video out to you. I'm in them. But that's a remote for you. Awesome. Thank you.